Changing the front differential fluid is gonna be a little bit of a different step than the rear. The front only has a drain. There's no fill on this particular front differential. The pre-facelift front differential, to my understanding, may actually have a fill, or perhaps it's the W203. I'm not 100% sure, but for sure, there is no fill on the facelift W204, so 2012 to 2014. And honestly, I believe that W205 has a very similar front differential, which only has a drain. That being said, uh, only way you're gonna be able to fill it is by the book, which is from the uh, axle. You have to pop off the shaft and then fill from there, uh, and then it will pour out. But that's uh, a lot of work, and I really don't wanna do that. So what you can do is pop this guy off, and then we're gonna reverse fill from the uh, drain. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's very important that you guys have a means of catching the fluid and measuring it. Uh, the reason I say that is I just wanna put exactly what I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put exactly what drains back in, plus or minus 50 ml. So uh, that's, that's gonna be my rule of thumb here, and you'll see, you'll see that in a second. So grab your six millimeter hex. And then be prepared to catch the fluid. This should be 600 ml. That's how much should be in the front differential and we're gonna confirm that. Keep in mind, it's not gonna be perfect 600 just because, you know, there's always some residual that's left, et cetera, et cetera but uh, we should probably be closer to about 500. The last time I did this, that's about pretty much what I pulled out. So we'll confirm that in a sec. We're gonna let that drain now until it uh, is bone dry because I wanna make sure I get all the fluid out and swap it out. Albeit it's not very dirty, it's just a good thing to do. I'm at the 72,000 mark on this car. So it's a new vehicle to me. I wanna make sure it's properly maintained from here forward. You can hopefully see I have drained roughly 550 ml and that checks out because the capacity for this differential is 600 ml. So I am right in line with this. Um, I will be adding plus or minus, like I said, 50, maybe a little bit more. Uh, that's going to account for one, making sure the fluid is not overfilled and comes out of the, the uh, overflow Hole, which then is going to make it look like you have a leak. But two, um, the method I'm going to show you, you're going to lose just a hair of fluid because you're going to be filling it from the drain hole. So we have to account for that as well. So 550, capacity 600. And I'm going to go maybe 6, 625, just to be safe. And I'll show you the best way to do this without losing fluid. Okay, so we're going to be filling this with a pressure fill type uh, unit. I have put uh, 600 ml in there. Uh, that's to compensate for basically spilling out, uh, et cetera, et cetera, since we pulled out 550 from here. Like I said, total capacity is actually 600, so we'll stick to 600. Uh, and then I just put a quick little squirt additional in there uh, to account for the fluid that's gonna remain in the lines that ultimately won't get in there. So uh, here's the adapter. It's the same adapter that's gonna go in the transmission. So uh, it's just thread this guy on. Okay. And then we will insert this guy on. I've pressurized the fill uh, tank and now we're gonna put it in. Okay, we're getting towards the end here. You can see that it's starting to pick up a little bit of air. So we're almost done filling here. I'm just gonna continue to pump here. I'm just gonna jiggle it around a little bit to get every last drop. So that should be all the fluid now. 
it's all gone out of this bottle. Uh, you can kind of see it there. And I am going to now position myself so that I can capture all the fluid that may come out of here, but also make sure I don't block the view for the camera. So now we're gonna quick disconnect this. Uh, grab yourself a vacuum cap, uh, vacuum line cap, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom of the adapter just to continue to retain the fluid. Okay, all right, so now keep yourself clean here. I've got, actually, you know what, I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna loosen one more. Get your thumb ready. Okay, thumbs plugged. And there we go. As you can see, I did lose some as we expected to, but that's probably about 50 ml and it works out just right. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it's pretty damn good. And it sure as hell beats taking out the whole axle shaft. Okay. Uh, there is no torque spec that I could find for this. So honestly, there's a crush washer here. Use common sense, don't over tighten it. I'm gonna hand tighten this until I feel the crush washer collapse. All right. There it is. One more for good measure. measure. Click, okay. And that's it. That's how you do the front differential.